1st of August devotional. Our topic is striving for mastery. The text is 2 Timothy 2, 5, Amplified Version. And, if anyone enters competitive games, he is not crowned, unless he competes lawfully, fairly, according to the rules laid down, and strive for mastery. Welcome, to the month of August, we start out with a mystery about mastery in any area of life. Over the years, Christianity has become weak and mediocre because we are not consistently taught to strive for mastery. Spiritual laziness has been encouraged by what we call grace and mercy. Discipline has left the church because it is seen as lack of love. Back, biting and accusations are now the order of the day and they are even called truths. The devil has turned many against each other, so they do not walk in unity enough to empty the kingdom of darkness. Many believers in churches are serving faithfully, but without joy or love in their hearts, others are sinning willfully, because they feel everyone is a hypocrite, and no one is really able to break out of the cycle of sin. Yet many more are preaching messages they no longer believe enough to live by. The devil has gotten the church to be a thermometer, rather than a thermostat. The rate of scandals and offenses against the church, is high because a divided and discouraged church cannot win the ongoing war against the kingdom of darkness. This is the strategy of the devil in this last days. Striving for mastery simply means you are so faithful and good at what you have been given to do that it is hard to replace you and you are always needed because your results are exceptional. This is what our text this morning is about. How are you striving for mastery in your place of work? in the church leadership position you have been trusted with, in your relationships, in your personal development. Are you still failing the same tests over and over again? It is time to rise. There is a measure of honor that only comes to masters and you cannot be a master anything until you serve faithfully according to the rules. The stage is not for training, but for those who master how to play by the rules. Ask yourself right now, how easy is it to replace you? in your family, in your job or business, even in the church, then you will understand how distracted you may have been.